A good Metroidvania game, referring to the progenitors of the genre, Metroid and Castlevania, is characterized by responsive, robust, two-dimensional action in a puzzle box of a game location or locations, where the player's ever-increasing skill set and traversal options opens up ever more areas to explore and fight in. By contrast, a good roguelike, referring to the 1980 classic release Rogue, is a game premised around exploring procedurally generated environments, with the ever-present fear of the player's permanent death lingering in the air. Many a modern classic has been built off of roguelike sensibilities, from the name-dropping Rogue Legacy to more far-afield games such as Don't Starve and FTL. But never has the genre been mixed so effectively with a Metroidvania as it has been in the number five entry on our list, Dead Cells, an acknowledgement of both the natural evolutionary flow of gaming history and the creation of something entirely novel. Each game of Dead Cells begins with the player regaining their body in the same decrepit castle, striving to escape hordes of monsters while navigating a map born very much of the Metroidvania concepts which clearly inspired it. At the start, play consists of little more than swiping at foes with a sword while learning when to roll out of the way of attacks. But even in those early stages, Dead Cells shows its strength. Yes! Dead Cells. You'll get better. More than perhaps any other entry in the genre, including its namesakes, Dead Cells is a wonder to play. Attacks are quick, responsive, and visceral. Movement fast and fluid. In creating Dead Cells, developer Motion Twin has tapped into the essence of playing a Metroidvania, but in such bite-sized, full-speed chunks as necessitated by the application of roguelike principles. In Dead Cells, you will die, and die a lot. You'll die to poison zombie monsters. You'll die to mutated worm monstrosities. You'll die to pure, dumb luck. But that's okay, because Dead Cells is not a roguelike. Not really. Instead, it is the more modern and cuddly equivalent, the Rogue Light. In a Rogue Light, like Dead Cells, death is permanent, but progress, small as it may be, is not lost entirely. Players are constantly picking up cells, surprise, which can be used to progress any of a series of permanent player upgrades between levels or which can unlock new items for which the player has found blueprints in their explorations. In this way, almost every run is made useful. Every 10 minutes is paid off. But with the lingering fear of death still omnipresent while you're sitting on 50 cells or want to turn in that epic blueprint you just found. It's brilliant design. If we were to prioritize the things we'd want to see in a Metroidvania roguelike hybrid, rewarding exploration, responsive action, enjoyable traversal, and a solid economy which allows progress while still penalizing death, would all be at the top of our list. Combined with beautiful graphics and an unexpectedly good soundtrack, Dead Cells nails them all.